Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. It's Monday. It's Oddity Day. Bourbon and Booze? Bourbon and Booze. I'm pretty sure you said birds and boobs. Yeah. Birds and boobs? Where does this show is that become? Like, like chicken breast? This is our new cooking show. New cooking show. Birds and boobs. This is wrong. Welcome I said birds and booze. You came up with it. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze. There you go. Um, it is Monday and it's an oddity day. So if you like what we do, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. It does mean a lot to us. Um, we're really excited um, to have you here with us and to leave comments, having great conversations with y'all. Uh, unfortunately, Andy's not here. Don't know why. He just... We waited, we waited, he hasn't showed up. So he'll probably walk in in the middle of this recording or maybe he's still not feeling well, but uh, could be sleeping, he works nights and it is night. So um, this is the um, rum that my wife has grown to love more than any other rum. She's a rum person. It just gives her like fast palpitations and stuff. So she doesn't drink it very much. The sugariness. The sugariness, but this is Appleton Estates eight year reserve rum. And she likes Appleton Estates. It doesn't do all that weird funky stuff to her. And she got this on December 25th, Christmas of last year. And we're just now opening it. I am surprised that she didn't open it. I'm actually surprised we didn't open it on Christmas. I believe that Santa, go ahead. I believe that Santa gave it to her. This modern technology of shrink wrapped stuff eludes me. And it apparently is eluding you. No, it's just, we had to get under the. This is where I put the little screen, it says, 10 days later. Well, they did not do this one very well. Or they did it too well. There's a little pull tab right here, but plastic keeps breaking off really. I got it. Okay. <laughs> so this is the Appleton Estates. It's a Jamaican spiced rum from the Appleton Estates distillery. It is 43% or 86 proof. It is aged eight years. And what's wrong with you? Being a little skimpy? It is aged eight years, $25.48. Pretty decent rate for rum, if you ask me. It kind of smells chemically. Yeah, it does. I mean, I'm getting that rum, that molasses, kind of that uh, paint. dark, charry wood, but it's got a medicinal, chemically aspect. Like, um, Okay, so there's, there could be a slight problem because I'm getting like nail polish remover and my wife just removed no, all of her nails. No, I'm getting that kind of chemical paint thinner, paint mm -hmm. spirits kind of a thing. I'm looking- Light, not like harsh, but- I'm looking down here for her other flavorful Appleton and I don't see it to see if there's a change. She's got another one, the regular Appleton around here somewhere. Yeah, it's definitely got a chemical <laughs> aspect. Almost like um, if you're my age, actually they may still be out there, but markers used to smell. That's yeah. what it smells like. It smells like markers. Just like a great combination of industrial. It's got a good flavor. I'm not a rum person. I don't even know where to begin to um, delve into rum because I'm really not a rum person, but it's got a really unique spiced aspect to it. Still very medicinal. Yeah. It's good though, but like I say, I'm not a rum person. I don't think you drink rum straight. Like you do whiskey. Um, you might shoot rum like Bacardi 101 or something because you're a college or high school kid wanting to get trashed. Um, we like this in in uh, cocktails. We were given these cool little cocktails on when we were introduced to it, um, like free cocktails. And that's what really drove her to like it. 
So yeah, I would think cocktails, it would, might add a certain um, uniqueness to like a Long Island because it does have a unique flavor. But lately we've been doing dark rums and I'm not a dark rum fan. This is a spiced rum. I think the last spiced rum we did was Sailor Jerry's. I'm not the biggest fan of this one. Yeah, might have to have my wife try it and we're gonna have to look for the regular Appleton Estates around here and compare it. I should have yeah. pulled it earlier and I didn't. So I apologize somewhere here. Too late now. Yeah. But I still get it. I mean, for $25 as a aged rum. Yeah. I think it's pretty decent. We'll let my wife tell the truth. If you have Appleton Estates, the eight year reserve, tell us what you think. Um, now it's been, it's a year old. But it's also never been opened. No, it should so be perfectly fine. So it should be fine. perfectly fine. Um, tell us what you think. What's your favorite aged rum? I'm not sure this is a spiced rum, though. Crafted to commemorate our 250th anniversary. Holy crap. This is an old company. This rum bled includes select reserve pot still stock from our renowned aged inventory. It was established in 1749 in Nassau, Nassau Valley, which is in Jamaica. Hmm. I don't know. Tell us what you think. It's leaking. You leaked it. Tell us what you think. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Uh, check out all of our other videos Monday through Friday. Tomorrow we got some uh, a really kind of unique off the wall whiskey that you won't be able to get here in the US but if you're in the UK you can so check it out and um, coffee on Wednesday a really exceptional whiskey on Friday or Thursday and then we have a uh, new cocktail on Friday that we're gonna try out um, from the book of cocktails so we're gonna introduce that for now on. just the, the book, book of cocktails all right tell us what you think have a great time check out Instagram Facebook Twitter and merchandise and we'll see you tomorrow cheers you didn't like it, but you ate drink it all. Can't just let it go to waste. It's not like I can pour it back in.